Alright, so here's the main menu of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and let's talk about the multiplayer. Alright, so, um, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, Modern Warfare 2, they've got a little bit more things you can do, like, they got the vault, which is kind of like the theater they have on Black Ops. You can look at your theater and all the stuff you have on it, like, you can add these to your theater, play them, edit them, you can look at your friends in your own. Um, back to the multiplayer menu. Uh, Xbox Live, they have, uh, two new games. They have the standard and the advanced. Advanced is like the hardcore and the mosh pit and team tactical, tactical and bare bones. And the standard playlist has like the team deathmatch free for all. Uh, they have the kill confirmed, which is a new game. Alright, so here, kill confirmed. And what you do is it's like team deathmatch. You kill your opponent and when they die, they leave a little dog tag that pops up yellow and it also shows up on the map. And if you die, you make you have a little red dog tag and all these little red dog tags it denies a kill if you pick them up and if you pick up the yellow ones it gives you guys the point for confirming the kill and the first one to uh, get the most points at the end of the game or the first one to get to 65 points and kill confirm wins the game um, the second game that's new to this is Team Defender. It's actually one of my favorite out of the So boat. here's a short clip of Team Defender. Um, there's a flag, one flag over in the middle of the map somewhere. And it pops up where the first person gets killed at. Um, it's a lot like Sabotage where you have to pick it up and you have to run to the bomb. But here you just pick up the flag and you run and your team defends you. You get points like headquarters, but I think it happens when people die on the other team while you have the flag. And it's only for the person that has the flag. Okay, so on the Xbox Live, they've added a few new things. Uh, for example, like when you go to the custom class, you know, they've got new names for perks, like Blind Eye, Extreme Conditioning, which used to be like Marathon and stuff like that. Basically the same. Um, the pros are different. Like, Hardline Pro, you don't get to change care packages, but for every two assists, it counts as a kill, so it's easier to get your uh, kill streaks going. Um, if you go to, like, your gun, and, like, pick your gun, they have proficiencies, which is kick, and, like, they have a whole bunch of them that, like, there's, like, one that's, like, Warlord, or Bling, and then they got, like, Impact, which is, like, Harden, and then they got Kick, which is reduces recoil. These are pretty good. These are, like, mini perks for your gun. Back to the main menu of the multiplayer. Uh, go to the split screen. Uh, go to the game setup and the game mode. They have the standard mode, which is the same as, like, online against your friends that's split screening here with you. Um, nothing too much different except for the, again, two new game modes. Alternate modes. These are all new to Modern Warfare. They got drop zone, which is you can hold the drop zone for team points and care packages. Team juggernaut, which is you defend your team juggernaut to become the next juggernaut. Juggernaut, it's a, everyone against the juggernaut. Kill the juggernaut to become the new juggernaut. The gun game, that's on Black Ops, so you pretty much know what that is if you've played it. Uh, if you haven't, it's to be first to dominate with every gun. Infected, uh, eliminate survivors. Eliminated survivors become infected, infect everyone, or survives the game to win. Uh, one in the chamber, that's also on Black Ops. Uh, you gain ammo by eliminating enemies, highest score wins. You get one bullet unless you knife somebody and whatnot. Anyways, back to the main menu of multiplayer. To that, Go to the Xbox Live and go down to Barracks and this Prestige Shop. Um, if you play Black Ops, I don't know if they had it on uh, Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 1 or World at War, but they had a double XP weekend right before this game came out, and if you prestiged, they'd give you tokens. And I also hear that you can go get, uh, there's Mountain Dew and Doritos, and there's points and stuff that will give you tokens. And with those tokens, you go to this prestige shop and get extra custom classes, double XP, double weapon XP, regular package, and you get you can unlock gear after you prestige after your prestige level one. You can get the hardened package after prestige level five, veteran package, and it comes after level ten, 
and you can reset reset all your stats after level 10 with these tokens.